My Gaming Edge. Hey guys, this is the Fragile from My Gaming Edge. And in this video, I'm going to go over two scenarios. One if it was executed poorly, and the other if it was executed good. Um, originally why I made this video uh, was in a medic thread on Gotfrag, and before I go on, this is not necessarily a medic video, and this is actually uh, a teamwork oriented video. Um, but in the medic video, or in the medic thread rather, um, it was just about like tips or whatever, and one of the tips I gave that I noticed in that my team used to do uh, like three seasons ago, and what I see in a lot of teams still is um, teams, whenever they get crammed up in a small space, such as for example in this video, Gully Wash Lobby, um, and they also happen to be damaged. Whenever, whenever the medic heals someone, that someone, whenever they get healthy, they immediately go out and peek into danger. And what happens is it's pretty much just that one person peeking from around a corner or um, out of a door, whatever. That person will take a bunch of damage to the point where they need to back up again. And what happens is you're back into the lobby or wherever you are at the same health that you were five seconds ago and what that pretty much means is that your team can't push out or spam as a team it's just one person doing it at a time um, and that doesn't really get too much done to be honest in fact that's really really bad and what that pretty much means is if there's three or four people just hurt in a small space those three or four people are pretty much going to be having around 30% health the entire time because no one's getting healed properly uh, because everyone keeps taking damage. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to play this clip um, and f uh, for the record, let me just give a shout out to everyone who helped me make this video in terms of the actors in the video. Uh, Slips, Ender, Foster, Swat, Love, HH, Cannon, Snoopy, and uh, Hell Rebel. Uh, huge shout outs to all of them. Otherwise, I would have had to fish through match demos that are now currently broken, and it's just a huge mess. Um, so, I am going to unpause right here. And currently, uh, the second uh, control point is getting captured on them. And everyone's pretty hurt, and only one person is getting healed at a time, obviously. And whenever that person gets healed, they keep peeking out and taking damage, and they would have to fall back in. And what that means is that no one's really getting healthy at all, and sometimes since they're taking so much damage, they end up dying. I'm just going to pause right here. So what you saw there, as I just described, is people just getting healed and recklessly peeking out just to think that, you know, that they can do something by themselves when there's an entire team of people capping <laughs> right out there. And again, this is not necessarily just a gully wash issue. This, like, there are these kind of things on pretty much every map, I believe. Um, so it's a really annoying thing, especially for a medic, because obviously as a medic, you want to make sure everyone is at a very healthy state and that everyone can disperse in a healthy way and that doesn't happen here um, because no one can go away because they're hugging the medic saying hey heal me and while everyone gets healed and by everyone I mean one, that one person at a time they immediately take damage and then that person comes back to that same group of four people and no one can leave no one can do anything because everyone keeps taking damage this is really annoying <laughs> as the medic and it's pretty uh, pretty annoying um, as a team as well because uh, in that uh, instance, capping or at least possibly getting them off of two or maybe even retaking two moments after they um, after the other team captured it to uh, just 
to wipe them or whatever and kill them and possibly retake the second point. Um, none of that was really possible um, with what just happened in lobby there. The, the one person's not going to stop five other people from capping the point. Um, in that very instance, it's just not going to happen. Um, so, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, that was the f uh, first scenario, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first scenario again, but what else could happen in that very first scenario. And, of course, this first scenario is the improper, bad way of doing things in terms of trying to peek out into somewhere or to try to take a yard or a point or whatever. All right, and now we're at the um, first bad scenario again, but in a possible different outcome as to some of the other bad things that could happen. Um, also, I again, I'm not sure if the health bars are going to be showing up in this video. I don't think that they will because this is not a Source TV recording. So I must apologize that I'm trying to show that you know everyone's weak and no one can get out. But I assure you, everyone's weak in this uh, instance, and maybe when people run by the spec crosshair that might show their health briefly so um, again this is going to just be the same rundown of exactly what happened but again a possible different outcome that I've seen so many times before and it's really annoying so I'm going to unpause right here and this uh, right now they're kind of getting healed but um, the, pe the, the heals right here actually weren't that bad even though now they're taking a bunch of unnecessary damage and the big thing I wanted to point out here, and I'm just going to pause at, as this ends, is since this team, um, the, 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 the defending team in lobby, they got healed a little better that time, as in they weren't recklessly peaking at around 70% health. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't really too much of the issue at this point, but it was for the fact that it was everyone just in like the same area watching the same thing now if some people went up top towards the went up the stairs and try to peek out towards the battlement area that could have been a different story maybe something much better could have worked there instead what happened is that the demo man flanked through the other lower door while they were completely focused on the main door and on top of that they were already taking damage at that moment so they were pretty weak and the demo just came in right behind them and started doing a hell of a lot of damage and while that was happening the other team just pushed in right to the door and just virtually sandwiched them almost and that made them wipe easily and I really have seen this happen a handful of times before and you can see it all the time really it's something that happens a lot more than it should and sometimes it's not necessarily the the defending team's fault in this very instance but sometimes it's just really really good planning on the uh on the pushing team here um but in this instance this could have been avoided by either having a few people go up top um obviously they would, they would need to get healed first or to say, you know what, this isn't looking good, let's back up. Because um, in that in that small area, all it takes is just a flanking demo man or a flanking soldier from some weird angle or whatever the case is, and that could lead to two or three kills. Um, so that's something that I guess just comes with experience and intuition. Um, but that was the crappy situations um, that I wanted to point out, and now I'm going to show the better one. Alright, so this is the ideal good scenario that if you really wanted to push back out or at least peek properly to spam them or whatever, um, this is what should be done. Um, or this is one of the many ways that um, it can be done. You can be creative with it in terms of who goes where, who goes out of what entrance, if, there, if there's more than two entrances. Um, but in this scenario, I think this is a pretty popular one, just because you can cover um, two of the um, most important ones, which is the main door and upstairs. Uh, technically, they could sneak through the bottom door, but there's usually someone at least in that area that can watch something 
um, from that area. So, um, <clears throat> I'm just going to unpause here. And um, you can see the scout and the soldier get healed. And they go on their way. And at this point, the other team's going to cap the point. But at least that they can peek out with um, with distractions from more than one area. Like, the, uh, the capping team can't just focus on one place. And I'm just going to pause again here. So... Regardless, um, regardless of the outcome here, and the outcome it doesn't matter. <laughs> but um, regardless of the outcome, if if the defending team here wanted to retake the second point, how they did it here is a lot better than what they did before because they got healed, um, as in everyone got healed before people started peeking, um. Uh, you had people come from more than one direction, so not only did you have people from main door, but you had people from uh, the battlement area up top. And um, it was coordinated in the sense that the top uh, battlement people became a distraction, um, so the main people could um, walk out, because a lot of the focus was already on the main door, so once people came from up top, then the people in the yard had to look up top and say, hey, Helen, like, there's someone up there, and we have to focus on them now, as well as watch the main door, and this isn't as easy anymore. Um, so, that's really important, and um, I would say th this actually, and I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning of the video, most of this applies um, a lot when you don't have Uber, uh, because when there, when everyone was in lobby there, in essence, sure, if you wanted to stop the point with Uber, you can just Uber people out of the main door. You don't have to send people up top, but it's not a bad idea if you do. Um, but obviously, um, that's a whole different uh, thing to talk about because you have invulnerability. But even even in that instance, I still wouldn't send out four or five people at 30% uh, health even if you have Uber because they'll they'll get flashed with Uber and then they'll just die soon after um, so unless you have to multi a lot um, let's see uh, again this can be applied on a handful of different maps um, one actually important thing I want to I wanted to mention this applies to Badlands House, this applies to Gullywash Lobby, this applies, uh, let's see, to, it doesn't apply to Granary as much, um, off the top of my head, Badlands House and, um, Gullywash Lobby are two of the biggest ones that I can think of. If you're, for example, a scout or maybe a really, really weak soldier that, isn't going to be doing, like, there's nothing that he needs to be there immediately for for another, I don't know, uh, 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Um, if there's a bunch of people hurt in that lobby right there, especially if you're a scout, um, and you need heals, just run back to resupply. Um, again, this is assuming that no one is going to be trying to contest the second point. Um, I, but again, this this happens a lot in Badlands House, where there'll be three or four people hurt, and then a scout or a soldier will either just run back or equalize back, and save time and get a reload on their ammo. Um, and this also makes it so there's not four people surrounding the medic, and as you saw in the second clip, the demo man or someone just walks in and shoots splash damage that can kill three or four people in one or two uh, shots. Um, this might be... Um, th th this is a pretty simple concept, but it's a concept that is often overlooked. People just say, oh, you know, we just didn't hit our shots, but nothing to do with hitting your shots or being weak. It's just about how you 
it's it's about how you approach a situation right beforehand, and that's exactly why that things like this happen. Um, so get healed. <laughs> um, if you absolutely must peek, don't peek by yourself um, in hopes of contesting the point. Um, wait until at least a few people are healed. So if there's three or four people hurt in the lobby, I would say wait until about three of them are at good health. And then if one or two need heals, um, then that's fine as well. Uh, they can just get healed real quick. Um, also, I actually forgot to mention, um, pick up the health packs. But if you're not a medic, look at the medic's health and make sure that the medic doesn't need the health pack. Um, cause I always tell my teammates all the time, if I'm healthy, feel free to pick up the health pack, especially when there's two or three people around me that need heals. I don't care at all. There's no reason why I would need it since I would be in a, uh, in a defensive position where I'm not going to be taking damage anyway, such as towards the back of the lobby or towards the back of the house. Um, and that's, I guess, quite it. Um, it's just a different perspective of uh, looking at it. This isn't necessarily a um, uh, an ESEA invite like video where like other invite players would be learning from this, um, even though I do see this in invite matches still. And this, honestly, this happens to every team, just a bad coordination or bad luck at some points. But this is stuff that can definitely boost um, an open team um, to a much better standing in their next season of Open um, with just simple things like this. Learning how to push correctly and learning how to peak correctly is absolutely key. You can win mid every single time in a match and still lose if you don't know how to pr push properly. Um, <clears throat> and that's about it. Uh, again, I already went over the stuff um, that I just mentioned about getting healed, peaking from more than one direction, and don't be reckless. <clears throat> um, again, huge shout out to everyone that uh, helped be in this little pseudo pug in this uh, video. Uh, you are a huge help. And that, it's about it, I believe. Um, ECA LAN is coming up next weekend, so I hope everyone watches that, and it's going to be fun. And it's going to be awesome. And now I am going to go back to doing a bunch of papers and hating my life. So um, I will see you guys later, and thank you so much for watching.